Welcome back to another session of the Fay Touch Necrosis. We are still in the second half of the library in the main city hey, that we have been based out of. They have killed the city and now they, they, they are just the, sitting in the room. The arboreal ranger that mm -hmm. is way harder of a fight than it should have been. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That's why we get to level four after this half. Correct. Thank goodness I had fire fists. I also dragged it all the way over here. I'm like, no, I'm bringing you with me. Yeah, yeah, because I placed it, placed it at the at the tree. There go, buddy. No, you can, you can do plant stuff and grow okay. the, this tree bigger with the dead De tree. Decompose and feed your relatives. <laughs> yeah. The most bonkers puppet. Um, yeah, we uh, we had to challenge it for some reason, which still not sure why. Did it unlock one of the the things over here? Yes. Oh, okay, that's why. Got it. I was, like, I was like, I don't fucking know. Oh, that means that for sure we're gonna fight something down there. By over here, meaning a sealed chamber to the west of the library. Yes. <laughs> It's not my fault. I, assume, I, I record, and I don't want to. I play. assume the map is not on video. No. <laughs> but, okay. Because <laughs> then, then I'd have to keep track of what I'm doing. Right. And mm -hmm. then they would see all my fuckery, and got to keep some illusion. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> mystique. <laughs> um, did we get this room? I think was was this door locked? I don't remember. Uh it was locked, yes. Oh, there's yeah. So I think the was it the only door that was unlocked was this one? Uh when you when you guys were going through. But you guys never haven't done that that door, which leads into that door. So, you know. Yeah, I mean we now now we would would uh would try that door. I think it's just like this was more obvious of a thing, so I think we went that way specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that the door north of the tree was locked, but yeah, this would be like an alternate route in. I'll recall knowledge on the door. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to recall knowledge on the door. <laughs> what? what? It's just it's one of the things that like we haven't really done a whole lot. We're we're mm -hmm. we're ignoring some of the mechanics. Although, also, I could see for Sylvia being like, wait, what's this wooden slab? Right, a door. A door. <laughs> hmm. Unless they open it, and then it's a jar. <laughs> and then I can put my keys in it. <laughs> but there's no jam. So confirming we're not all beat up? Um, you are where you were before you started the fight. Oh, I am super beat up. Yeah, I think Cal, I, or, I think for Sylvia it took uh, most of the beating. Before or... you started the fight, oh, but whatever oh, you were right. at. Gotcha. Oh, so we got restored. Because it was a challenge thing. Mm -hmm. and then it... So the fight restores. Mm -hmm. Okay, including spells. You when you don't die. I'm going to say yes because it was a challenge. Okay. Was it though? Just kidding. Please don't throw another photo. It that. was absolutely a challenge. <laughs> it was super easy. What are you talking about? Piece of cake. If, no. only, if only it didn't have a bullshit. Walk in. Stabby in. stab done. Totally. It, it didn't have a bullshit uh, uh, reflex for a fucking tree. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was apparently River Willow. They're super flexible. <laughs> <laughs> we fought. We fought. Uh, water elementals last night and they were like oh they have a really good reflex i was like well yeah because they're very fluid <laughs> but like i was gonna i was like ah mm, nope and then i was like mm, i'm gonna go to the bathroom and then it's, uh, scott was like what we're gonna say i was like of course they have a good reflex they're very fluid and he's like ah. i was like i wasn't gonna fucking say it i was walking off 
They're water <laughs> elementals. They all know Jeet Kune Do. Right, exactly. <laughs> be, be water, my friend. Um, <laughs> man, I feel great. Um, okay, yeah, no, I'll uh, search the door. No, I, didn't, I, I haven't worried about traps up till now. Why would I be that smart? I'm going to try to open that door. What if I uh, check you're it for... opening the door? Uh, yeah, it opens. That's free. That's me trying to be like thinking of traps. What if we check for? Never mind. <laughs> check for what? It's Go right on ahead. <laughs> check. It's a door. Right? No? Maybe? I don't know. Pull chalk out of your little breast pocket. Uh, all right. You're in a room <laughs> with a bunch of texts. Written in ancient Elvish. Ooh. More, more books I can read. I also realized last night I'd forgotten to take my third language, and it made sense to just take Elvish because, you know, my mother. So. <laughs> yes. Uh, I was like, based on the region, it You makes not sense. taking Elvish would be kind of weird. Yeah, because I forgot I got one for my int modifier, and I was just like, oh, common and sylvan. Just that's what satyrs get. That's like, Oh, wait, I'm also a half a... <laughs> yep. Yeah, it takes take a plot inconvenient one and a plot convenient one. Right. Take, like, giant. <laughs> I speak elvish and abyssal. <laughs> Some, like, inexplicable race. <laughs> Hell if I know. <laughs> yeah, that, that one... Speaking elvish and abyssal would have been a, a, a question mark. You, you just, should hear how hideous the Elvish Abyssal Creole like mix <laughs> is. I had, a, I, I had an internship. What <laughs> down in the down in the sulfur quarter? There's <laughs> right, exactly. for summer. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> oh. you, you think your corporate hellscape was bad? Oh, no. <laughs> anyway. I made I made a killing. Not only was it not, yeah, you can see that you can open the door back to the main room. It was just a simple bar. Oh, oh my God! It's like Dark Souls. Ha ha! We figured, we figured out I was just gonna cut. say. I was just gonna say when when we tried it before, it was like this door is blocked from the other side. <laughs> and now it's like you have opened a new shortcut. <laughs> okay, I love it. You're welcome. A lot of that shit in scorn too. Anyway, I love that. My I love that. It's like the simplest thing. Oh God, yeah, it's so satisfying too. When you're like, oh my God, I could just take two steps to get here now instead of right. going through a and fucking like the first Dark Souls a labyrinth. Thing. But then in Dark Souls two, I remember there's like the the under like the underground dock area, and like you have to like that run is. up and do a whole fuck ton of stuff, and then you have to come this way, and you can like drop a bridge or something, and then and then you can go and you like do like. By the end, it's really just this. One, but it keeps crashing. It's a rough <laughs> Anyway, uh, but hey, look, I opened the door. Um, look, two doors. Oh man, Ooh. I'm so good at opening doors. For Sylvia, Lord <sighs> of the doors. Lord, well, I am, you know. Okay, what am I called? Anything? Uh, I don't know what I'd need to roll, but is there anything like interesting in there? I'm keeping. It's um... a library, but. <laughs> Uh, a lot of it is some high level information. Uh, I am for Sylvia Keep Inspector. Like, a carefully look for a quest mark. You know, if you wanted to look at, at stuff in the ne Necromantic Spell School. I was gonna say, just I'm, I was looking, I'm looking for the, the quest marker that says plot relevance here. Oh, right. The glowing, <laughs> the one that's glowing. It's, yeah. We need the one that glows. You are looking for the. I don't think we were looking specifically for any book. Sorry. I was double checking something on my map. It just slides a table over here. Like, oh, nothing. It's nothing. Just don't, for, don't worry about it. <laughs> yep. Just, um, it's, it's not relevant. Don't, half, worry. don't worry about half, it. There's a half circle <laughs> scuff mark on the floor. Under this, <laughs> no. don't, 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 don't worry. It's not relevant. It's fine. I drew, for the viewers, I drew, I drew a rectangle on the map. 
It's it's just a table. No big deal. <laughs> it's there the whole it's time. A red table. It's not it's not it's uh, it's, it's like yeah. bombable walls in Zelda. <laughs> right. The answer is that uh it there is no quest marker in this room. All right, back to the tree then. <laughs> I mean I'm not a book nerd and this character is not a book nerd, so because I'm not a wizard. Oh, and Archie being a, a ranger, ranger, neither is mine. <laughs> the only supposed book nerd in this party he's... is the guy who's probably sitting and reading. Yeah, that's why he's not here. Because he's he's too busy <laughs> reading books in the lab in the other part of the library. Like right. we're going on, he's like, Yeah, you go on an adventure without me. I'll be I'll be here. Uh-huh. Go have fun. Have fun, kids. Okay. Don't stay out too you know how we're doing the thing? Yeah, yeah, it's in the fridge. Yeah. yeah get, me, get me a pack of smokes, one. I think he's <laughs> lost the... I think he's rather lost the thread of what's going on. <laughs> Perhaps we should just be on our way. <laughs> well, I'm the one with the thread. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. Where and here, what's going on? Where did I put it? <laughs> oh, no, I might have lost the thread, too. It's like a spool just like stitched to your haunch. I don't have any storage. I don't have any pockets. <laughs> or no, it's like it's like a button when you have the shirt that is just the one button sewn into the button into the shirt that's just yeah. a spare button. It's like that. I just have a spare button. Like on like my middle back, there's just a spool and I can't see it. Like Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean I guess that door? Because we tried that door. I, th I think we go to a which door are you trying uh, this oh, okay yeah, that North, door. northeast yeah. yes i am i am trying to, <coughs> to keep track of where you where you guys are because i have numbers on the room and you don't so what so i have to make sure that i uh here you go you Check. Go to the correct rooms, especially Check. since you know I may have Check. flipped them out. What? Checking the door that not that we as characters can see it, but as a corridor leading to Green Circle, <laughs> that one. Ah, <laughs> uh, what, what that door are? is what? able to open. <gasps> How does it make I you feel, door? I can't tell if that's you being in character not seeing it or a joke about you being colorblind. <laughs> it's nine times out of ten, it's about me being colorblind. <laughs> which happened, we were playing, we were playing magic, and I was like, which I was like, which which number total on the phone is mine? Am I the black one? And then Tristan was like, it's magenta. I was like, I'm fucking colorblind. He's like, he's like, oh. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> and like actually it, I was like, okay, I guess it looks kind of magenta, but <laughs> from from here, not knowing it, it looked more black than. Okay, uh, we want to. I was like, we want to do this one as I open it. <laughs> do we want to see what's behind the the door? <laughs> Which is impressive because I probably got like two hand it. <laughs> so, what you're finding is similar books. It's a reading annex. There's similar books. Um, to what you found in the main room. We're in the learning annex. <laughs> I have some sort of relevant. Well, no, we're not in the wilderness, so never mind. At least I got a scouting ability or something, but. <laughs> So, what are you doing? Sorry, I was trying to preempt you. No, it's fine. Uh, I mean, I go through the door. You go through the door. You find books. Nice. Unliving things. Un unliving things. I heard and living things. I was like, well, that no. makes one of us. On living things. Check. Am I hearing un or on? Un. 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 Non-living. Okay. No, this has stuff on it. Um, 
There's pictures of creatures of all ages of descriptions, dwarves, halflings, elves, you know, everything. Picture everything. books. Uh, playing animals, leaping, running bird, running, flying birds. Okay. Yeah. So things that are alive. <laughs> Absolutely still alive. Well, I mean, the book's not alive. It's very dead. Or is it? Uh -oh. that. Pick <laughs> <laughs> one up. I don't know. This one seems to have a lot of uh, smells, worm and mildew. Right, <laughs> smells, is alive. <laughs> smells, smells not alive. I mean, I'm moving, 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 moving in the room. Come upon a chest. We open the chest, and it's a, a mimic. Available now at <laughs> at, at Luminous Curiosities. Uh, there is a glowing green um, green circle on the floor and a beautiful mural of a living forest on the walls. That is nice. I like this room. <clears throat> it's very serene. Very serene. It just looks kind of like knowledge check I can make, but I, like my arcana is crap. But... <laughs> is there another knowledge check that might be <laughs> You mean a nature check? I mean, given the decor. <laughs> right? <laughs> Roll it okay. okay. See if I recognize anything about the circle. Well, the, there's absolutely, you could give a nature check, sure. You could also give a religion check. Either um, would work. I'll go with nature because everything else is crap. <laughs> 14. It looks like stuff that's alive. It does. It's so nice. Just got to sit here and read books. <laughs> Uh, you know, something about this, if you had to k kill something for the first room, something says something about living to you. Are you stepping into the circle? I'm alive! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, yes. Um, <laughs> Give me your energy! You hear faint laughter and feel breeze blowing even though no one's over, no one's there. Or it glows brightly and, and the laughter and breeze intent, intensify. Suddenly oh. a gale force wind. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get a spear bomb going, but apparently no dice. <laughs> <laughs> Is Giggling that effect only happening inside the circle? Correct. Giggling in so, nature. Okay. And when I just stare at the it's your relatives, I think. <laughs> just throw in a shindig. Just farting and laughing. Like <laughs> attracts they eat, the wind. Eating cans. <laughs> That's racist. We don't eat cans. Without Tabasco sauce. <laughs> so what's so what's happening in there for Sylvia? Your threads, your threads are wisping around a bit, but it's, I'm not noticing it's, anything. It's windy here. and laftery. Hello. Uh, if you step I'll off. also step in. Are there people here? Are Absolutely there spirits? nothing changes when uh, when Kalein enters the circle. It stays laughing and the oh, okay. breeze is the same intensity. <laughs> For a minute, I thought, like, for me, like, I enter and nothing's going on. No, no, like, no. Yeah, the circle is still bright. <laughs> there, you still hear the laughter. Oh, There's no. Dad, still a breeze. Dad's home. Everybody should shh, shh. That'd be dead times funny. I'd be like, shit, shh, shh, shh. It's just like a light breeze and, like, some snickers. <laughs> like, behind the door. 
<laughs> it feels very comfort comforting to you. Uh, it feels like a, something about it feels like the center of a, a, a the forest. Right. Is this another challenge? I'm gonna walk over and touch the tree mural. Um, awake. Um, alive. But 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 something inside. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. <laughs> For Sylvia! Oh, wait, it's not dark. <laughs> Who said that? Hello, giggling spirits. <laughs> Are you there? Maybe there's enough wind for... Uh... At our meal to go they out. don't let they don't answer you rude hello i'll say in sylvan <laughs> um you get more giggling but you have a feeling that this is more of a passive challenge the two of you i'll give you a cookie as soon but, as i get a cookie uh but i'll, ins I'll inspect the mural part see if there's any <laughs> okay i got an idea what is the like hey buddy hey. investigation you're doing you're doing great guy i mean missy sorry right forget you're playing it girl okay i'm gonna grab the tree <laughs> are you grabbing the entire body oh yeah <laughs> just dragging it back Come on, buddy. Oh. It's not living, just so you're aware. I know, but maybe this brings it back to life. The other one, we had to kill something, and this one, we bring it back to life. Okay. <laughs> I don't fucking... I... Yep. I've been, I've that's been what you're doing. Let's I've been do stepping it. the mural and oblivious to this going on. I'm just like, okay, there's probably something with the trees and the painting I, and the... What the fuck? <laughs> I'm a ten, I'm a ten intelligence. I'm like, ah, idea. You, you had an idea. I did. Um, you drag the tree. <coughs> <coughs> to which you had put put to rest uh, underneath the other tree into this living thing. It does not wake up. Oh. It'd be really funny if we if you had like already buried it too. It just went back. <laughs> or well, oh. planted it, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> then I don't think that's working. Did we see any like plants and pots or anything? There's only the tree. I, I mean, yeah. I'm sure there are pots of dirt around on top of things. Okay, I'm gonna go get a pot of dirt. Okay, I'm gonna drag uh -huh. this back. Uh huh. Back to because that's where it goes. It's uh, I'm gonna get a pot of dirt. What kind of tree uh -huh. is this? Is this? It's kind of a birch. So it doesn't a silver have, tree. So it doesn't have acorns. No. Shit. Does it have the little spinny things? Because don't those it, also do things? I, Calvin doesn't know fuck all. I live in a lumber intensive state, and I know fuck all about lumber. <laughs> I'm going to give you something. A branch comes down into Sylvia's. Uh, Arm, uh, arm reach, because Sylvia is small. And then you reach for it, and it whips away, because now you're Tantalus from Greek myth. <laughs> and then I will use my first action to ignite my hands. <laughs> I don't appreciate being pranked, tree that doesn't like fire. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> this is what I did to the last tree that fucked with me. This is both a help and a warning. I'll take it if there's a if it's offering me a branch, I'll take the branch. Mm -hmm. And then put it in the pot. Mm -hmm. It makes sense that it wants plants too, because if the mural is all trees. <laughs> and then and then walk all the way back. Uh-huh. And then put it in the circle. When you put the branch and step in the circle, it lights up again. When Kulain stepped off, it, it stopped lighting up. Clay, get the fuck back in here. Uh, no, 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 no. 
With Sylvia in the circle, it's living up. Oh, okay. So, so when he left because I was out of it and he was out of it. Because nobody was in it at all. Got yeah. it, got it, got it. Okay, I thought uh-huh. you meant when, when he stepped out of the I was in the circle. He stepped out of the circle. It went. Yes. And, and then it went down. I got you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so when Sylvia chooses to step out of the circle. Okay. It stays lit. <gasps> Magic. Oh. Did we see a door anywhere with the same symbol that's on the floor here? Yeah, it, it's one of the four uh... that, that are up for the the west locked door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah. Right. We just needed something living inside of it. I was living. Mm-hmm. You were. Yes, you're, then, I mean, you're for sure living. I think. But I'm then, living. if we leave, the door would be locked. So oh. Leave something alive in it. Oh. That's a key. The tree was the key. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's leave oh Mira in here because she's so grumpy. <laughs> I just get it. I just get I mean, you also could have dragged uh, your Corvid friend, the tanky just, friend, just, 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 just in a stack of a yeah, just a books stack left. of books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if we put our yeah. compa- what if we put what? our companion oh. cube in here? <laughs> Novel. No, no, no we've already here, established. Nice no, no, I just pick him up and move him. That's what we've established. I do. I just pick him up and move. He's like, what? Okay. <laughs> just what we're doing. They just get you like a little, like a harness that just has like a little like two foot square platform on your like back. Like on the back. Yeah. He can, just, like... he can just sit cross legged and you'll be like a little palanquin. <laughs> so, like a, like a reinforced flat saddle thing? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the tracks. Boom. I'm real good at solving puzzles. Pu- puzzles. 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 Puzzles, everybody. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Puzzles. For every buzzy. <laughs> For every buzzy. So, if you go check the door, yes. two of the those wards are no, are no longer lit. Excellent. Now there's a pink ward and a kind of bluish ward. Mm-hmm. So we should search the other side of it. I did not choose the colors. Check. Calvin solving all the puzzles. Reveling all over the map. <laughs> well, you know, we'll keep a track of what, where we've gone and well, yeah. what, what no, we've solved. And... <laughs> ah. <laughs> I like to think for Sylvia actually has like a little map of the library. He's like, and <laughs> I mean, you know, for Sylvia may have copied the map and yeah. added it to the kill list. It's, it's part of her stuff. Oh, technically that tree's got to be. Oh, no, I didn't kill the tree. I think somebody yeah. else technically killed the tree. Yep. I, I think maybe Riss did. Yeah. Let's go to the. He, he will close, answer. Close by it. Eventually. Did he go for a smoke break? Yes. Oh. Loser. Quit smoking. Keep playing. No, no, no. He's what? Not... Do we want the door south of the water? Tree? Or south southeast of the tree. Southeast of the tree. Okay. I think I think he's smoking. No. I think we should pick one of these next. There might be another smaller room that's got something easy. So, are you going to the the pink one? Yeah, that's that where you're going. Okay. Give me a second to. I'm just not done. Yes, smoking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. That is room eleven. <laughs> no, that's that's no. I'm not making biscuits. <laughs> Jar sounded needy. Oh. oh. Okay. I'm just. Um... That was just for the pun, like. I'm offended. Because <laughs> you're not wrong and it, it hurts. <laughs> you wound me! <laughs> Get up! You cannot access the door directly south. What about south, southwest corner? Southeast corner. The flipped map has me automatically auto correcting my head to make right west. <laughs> Yeah, yeah but, but... I have to. Uh, that's why I was like, 
like, okay, let me, I have to flip it in my head. This one will open. Okay. Let me go back to that one. Okay. Good job, buddy. High five. I know. Uh, although it's my door, it's my job to open doors. So kind of rude. I didn't open it. <laughs> Just check to make sure it was lo wasn't locked. Right. Okay. Check it for traps. Um, <laughs> I checked for traps by opening it. So this is a reading room. Uh, it's nearly identical <clears throat> to the one on the other side of the library. I noticed the short hallway to the right and see if the other door is locked from this side. Not yet. You mean the left? Where I'm standing. Um, I'm. Go let me tell you what's on the. Uh, that, yeah. What so, the sorry. books are about. Yeah. God, stop being so rude. I'm also thinking because the direction we walked in, turning to my right, <laughs> not uh, the right of the map. Uh, yeah, that's valid. Go so, ahead, uh, the books here are about prophecies, destiny, and future predictions. So, welcome <gasps> to the divination corridor. Oh, good old divination. If only we had a kitsune. Didn't some see sort that. of oracular device. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Didn't see that. Okay. Let me my, let my me friend. double check whether or not that door can be opened. It may not. I mean, yeah. It doesn't actually matter. We have access. I just think it's funny. I mean, that it, eventually, if it's uh, locked. And you just go around the door. I'll, next just, to it I'll just rip it off. Yeah, you, you probably because you have access to it. That door uh, is just a bar. Yeah. Because Woo! there's no door in between the two. So yeah. There's there's been settling, and the stones underneath have pitched weird, so the door is like wedged, closed now. It's not actually even locked. It's just stuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bombing raids and whatever. <laughs> It's true. So yeah, that that's what you got. I'll just take the door open. Well, let's head over this way and see what this. Oh no! Nope, in the corner. Freehand. Kapow. I'm marking. Open. Oh, there is another circle. I think. <gasps> yep. Circle. Clearly, I'm the expert. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. A purple glowing. Pink circle shedding faint purple light encompasses most of the floor in this chamber. In the center of the glow, an ornate work depth floats two feet above the floor, and a what appears to be a white-haired gnome sitting at the desk fast asleep with his head resting upon a purple leather-bound book. See? It's the desk that I prophesied earlier. Right there. Boom! Divination. Calvin, three for three. <laughs> so you said there, you said in the circle there's a gnome on a floating desk? Yes. Taking a nappy? Yeah. Do -do. What appears to be, yes. He could, he could absolutely be just a figment of the trial. Do -do. Brush and butter across the edge of the circle. <laughs> do do. Well, the hoof. <laughs> Grab a book. To do, to do, to do, to do. Throw the book at him. Has anyone entered the circle? Yeah, yeah. The he said he was. I move my foot across it to see if it reacts. Um, he kind of he notices. He kind of slowly starts to awake when you. When you enter the circle, the glow starts to win. When the character enters the circle, the, glows, the glow intensifies and he is startled awake. He quickly adjusts. Just in time to dodge an incoming book. <laughs> his half moon glasses and says, What? Where? Oh, yes. Hmm. Uh, 
I am the One inquisitor. Professor. Your professor? How unexpected. I... Ah, I see there's been much progress. Yes, well, good. There's much to be done, but one step forward is one step closer. I step forward. <laughs> Just in case that's a weird riddle. Technically, if I move forward, that's four steps forward because I got four feet. He's just going to peer at, at, peer at Colleen, who has come up to his desk. So which way does this work then? Do you like, I give you a prophecy? Do you give us a prophecy? Now I'm going to throw I, the book I, at him. Do I, do I give you a tarot card? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to throw the book at the gnome. You can make an attack roll. <laughs> uh, just uh... or technically a strength check would probably be. Say so whatever it is for improvised weapon. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is for an improvised weapon. So just a uh, dex. So just a dex roll. Because it's a sure. Unless there's throwing rules, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Dex on trade. Well, okay. Um, yeah, it, it kind of hits hits his desk. Did you see that coming? Divination. Sorry, I think, I think my little friend when you are ready to start with, with this trial. Can you repeat that? Salem was talking. <laughs> Classic Salem. <laughs> Return when you are ready to <laughs> when you are ready to start this trial. Trial go. Is it return here? Just did you say I'm ready? Have you tried saying I'm ready? Say you're ready. I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready to start the trial. I see there's been much progress, yes. Well good. There's still much to be done. Well, one step forward is one step closer, yes. Yes. I'm, yes. I'm at the desk, so I can't step forward, but uh. <laughs> Come back when you're ready to start the trial. And he closes his eyes and goes back to his oh, nap. Maybe we do this one last. Yeah, I was just thinking that too. Because, because pride comes before the fall, Salem. Yeah, that's why we put all the gay stuff in summer. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. God damn it. I fucking hate you because that's actually really good. You you didn't come up with that, did you? It's kind of a tweak of a different joke. It's okay. <laughs> I like that's a it's a running joke. Got it. <laughs> Cause damn was that a good joke. Why, why did they gotta have gay pride when the like in the summertime when all the children are about? Because pride cometh before the fall, mama. That's why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we gotta do. Yeah, maybe we gotta do the. Oh, you just fucked off entirely. Okay, wait for me. <laughs> That's the broken door. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna say that door you can unbar and walk in. This one. Too far. Too far. Because there is. Yeah. This one. The one that. And well, the one that Colleen is in is absolutely open. You can walk in. Is there a door where Ira is? Oh, yeah. no, it's just a wall. Yes. Oh, okay. Their token was over it, so I thought it was just solid wall. Well, it's like, the map isn't perfectly lined up. The map yeah. is absolutely not perfectly lined up. I did what I could. I did my best. Ungrateful fucking bastard. All right, I don't care. It is. There's two doors. That room. Is this one? Is okay. the? Is this one unlocked though? That's yes. why if one of. Okay, do you want to open that for you, Era? I am the door opener. 
It's very easy to unbar that the door that Era is in front of. Actually, no, that one is probably locked on the other side. So it's, bar, it's barred on this. It's barred on the other. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a barred on the other the side. That Colleen, I had to think of uh, how things they said. You you had access to this room from the room that Kulain is about to enter. So technically, the door. Te technically, this this door is barred on both sides. Yep. You know, I never I said there was logic for that. I did things <laughs> appropriately. It's okay. They were not clear. That this one was already open for Sylvia. <clears throat> it's crazy. <laughs> uh, you're gonna need to make a deception check. <laughs> it's one of my best skills. Totally. Do, do, do you believe me? <laughs> no. Several no, bookshelves line the walls nope. near the entrance of this chamber with few reading tables situated nearby. Opposite the entrance, a, a small section of the room is separated with a four foot wall, tall semicircular wall. A blue glow emanates from within the isolated area. Well, that went really well the last time. So. And yes, there are books in this room. Okay, what are, what are the books for this room? There, uh, there are the books talking about philosophical and ethical theories of sacrifice. What is diff this is totally an aside, but what's different about Era's movement setup? Because it's like plotting the path they're taking and then actually moving the icon instead of just suddenly it's there. Um, Feel, feel no need to spend any real time on that. I'm just curious. <laughs> it, 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 there was like a like a latch on the door. No, I mean like the roll 20 function. Like it's it's I... literally plotting their movement when they plan it and then uh that's a uh... weird. I think that's using the just general just general Reese fuckery. The... Yeah. Using the roller <clears throat> in special ways. It's in special ways. I could do it too. You ain't special. Yeah, it's not the huh, weird. So well this was the last one. <laughs> yeah, like doot doot. Walk into the circle. Oops. No, don't sacrifice yourself. You have so much to live for. Okay, you can sacrifice yourself. That's fine. Mm -hmm. There is a ritual dagger. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to make sure there's an, when you, uh, the altar cause and, and the floor within it causes it to rise in the air, or in the, and on the altar sits a curved dagger, clearly ritualistic in nature. Typical Chris. But when Carol. you... But when you but when you attempt to move off, it floats back down and Arrow look at Colin. Oh. I mean a lot of the subjects we're talking about ethical sacrifice. <clears throat> ethical. More like she'll pick up the dagger. What if one drop works? Like, I'll hold my hand out so Eric can, like, pierce a fingertip. Mm. And hopefully ah. squish out, a, you know, a few drops of blood on the altar and see if that does anything. Uh, a few blood, a few drops on the... 
Uh, is that ethical? Well, the, oh, I mean, I'm Aaron volunteering the blood. Aaron so. wouldn't do it to Cohen. She'd do it to herself. Okay, so I hold out my hand and then you stab yourself. <laughs> no, she opens up the palm of her hand. Make a religion check. A religion check. You know, with everything going on, something like it's something like sacrificing blood might not be the answer that you're looking for, even though that's what's obvious. This is a place of knowledge and generally good people. An occasional tree folk that attack you. But you know, that's just sort of an outlier. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> what does the knife look like other than just curved blade? Um, it's an elven blade. No, otherwise, design connotation. Mm -mm. No, I understand. What was the description of the books one more time? Um, there it was a book, there was absolutely a book specifically about ethical sacrifice. Perhaps we should peruse that one. Sure. I'll walk off and like grab it. <laughs> it sinks back down, you can step off very not easily. So you go check the book. It's a very large book discussing different methods of sacrifice. And, uh, you know, roll me an intelligence check or whatever your strongest intelligence skill is for knowledge is. Anyone who's uh, checking the book. How? Where does it show what stat modifies? Knowledge skills are in general intelligence skills. Yeah. Well, uh, Arcana and actually Arcana, I think, is the only one that's. No, all of them are. No, because uh, nature is wisdom. And well, so, nature so also will work in the in this case and because so it is a knowledge skill. Because my because my my wizard in the other game is trained in like all of them, but his modifiers not as good. With... Is anyone else rolling? Uh, I, I am. Arabella to... roll, rolled occultism for twelve. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out because it just says mod. You one. can roll nature. Yeah. Cause like they're not divided by their so I got a 21 on natures you know something about this book because it's so large and so impressive and you know you, you figure it out that the dagger probably easily could fit in this book that maybe it could be used as the answer. Do we put it in it or do we stab the book? <laughs> like there's already an indent in the cover for the for the dagger to right. sit itself in. 
this look like they fit together. <laughs> I say literally just looking at the book, not re not reading it, but examining the book. <laughs> Go for let's it. take this back in. Yeah, let's take the book in there and see what the hell goes on. It snaps together. The glow the glow happens. It goes back down, and you. And when you, it, it slowly lowers until it's flush with the floor, the, the blue circle glow returns bright, but it feels, it feels like you did it. <laughs> you sacrificed the ability to use that knife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sacrificed our ability to sacrifice? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I was going to sacrifice an object. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll check the door and make sure that the, the light is glowing. Uh, there is only one left. Okay. Yeah, goddamn. Stop double clicking. Beat you. Haha, <laughs> so fast. Okay. We did it. We're doing it. Who I said, talk with the old gnome guy. The gnome person. Good old Chomsky. Good old. Right. Ah, you've done quite a bit of work already, I see. But there's one trial left to go, indeed, yes. He looks up at you, his pleasant expression suddenly serious, his sing-song voice suddenly growing deep. Mine. The room is... Uh, are you ready to start the trial? Whoop, yes. The room grows dark, except for the small... A small glowing orb from above that sheds dim light over the uh, over the area. You All understanding you? begins with questions. And so you will answer four questions, answer them correctly, and you will have completed this. It's Morbin time. Every time you answer one wrong, every time you hesitate or equivocate or attempt to deceive, your lack of understanding will prove costly. Now, I'm sorry, guys. who will answer the first question? Right, because technically that's a question. <laughs> I will. I will. Yeah, I got there first. <laughs> <laughs> On my feet, it was simultaneous. <laughs> oh, crap. We've already gotten one wrong because we both answered. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> let's only go. That way I can study what the consequences are. <laughs> I get electrocuted. Ah! Sorry, I was double checking my question in that I had given you the answer and you can roll a knowledge check for me to give you the answer because it has been months <laughs> since we have first been in the library. Okay. Um, who built the library? Who built the library? <laughs> you you're gonna roll, roll me an intelligence check okay i'm going to roll an intelligence check that is true i'm gonna roll it yep i rolled it i got a three that's the same oh you right, just rolled a straight check sure yeah, that... i live here yeah Oh, that's true. I could roll a society. Yeah, that makes more you sense. You could roll a society check if it if that's a better thing. It is. Uh, 
You can't answer the question. I'm answering the question. Old 20 is full of hate. Yeah. You absolutely can answer this question. Arencia Silverleaf. Arencia Silverleaf. The dad of the I lady that- I love that your intelligence was three. So you're like, I thought I had to have a thought, but then I remembered I can just remember. <laughs> For the 24 on society. Well, I'm actually trained in society. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not trained in intelligence. So the reason why I let you roll is because the answer to this question came from the two statues on the uh, other side of the library uh, months ago, real real world time. This wasn't something that happened two yes, minutes ago. Yeah. And it was like yesterday in game. <laughs> no, it's been like a week been a at least. Days ago. Yeah, it's been at least like, a week in game. Out. Yeah, because we went to that other outpost or whatever it mm -hmm. was and then came back. And then I fisted some people to death and then. Yep. So that's two questions. Yep. Because I answered. So, I, I answered so they would answer first. I would then. answer first and then and then I answered Arencia. Boom. Two, two done. <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally sure what I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll do the next one. Okay. That is working. Let me. <laughs> also, I, I may or may not be changing the questions so that they're appropriate to what we're doing. Well, one with who? Uh, European or <laughs> African European? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Is that an African or a European displacer beast? What? Where are you talking about? What? Oh no! I have no idea. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> there is one being here who shines his service to the library. What is his name? I especially don't remember because I wasn't here for the other one. It's, it's, <laughs> it's the one arm statue. Your best friend is still here. Oh, and it's Kalein who's answering. I would like to roll knowledge for Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to retroactively say it's going to be three questions because there's only three of you. Okay, fair enough. Uh, can I roll a crafting check to remember the workmanship of the statue and thereby remember the person? <laughs> Is that really your only one? Roll me, just roll me an it roll. Because you're just trying to remember. I just click int on durability scores, right? Yes. <clears throat> you think he's talking about the night they on the other side of the library who absolutely really loves his job helping people find their books? I, I that's gonna be my answer. The night on the other side of the library that likes finding books. That's who it is. Just saying, crafting would have given me a plus six instead of a one, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is more fun. <laughs> Kitty. I wink at the other say, watch this. We're going to find out what happens when you get it wrong. <laughs> I mean, technically, you're not wrong. I'm just Incomplete, not but correct. Ha! Technically correct is the best kind of correct. Mm-hmm. It's Rufus, the Archive Knight. Yeah. The Archive Knight. Who has two arms now, right? Just... The final path to understanding is the unburdening of the shackles of secret. Which is your 
what is your secret? No one has said that they're answering yet. I don't know if Colin has any secrets. <laughs> I'll answer. I don't know. And you are not attempting to lie. No, because I don't know. That's I know I have. Scary. It's so deep, even I am unaware of right, it. I, I have amnesia. <laughs> I don't know my great secret. <laughs> so if we're going technically correct. <laughs> and I'll take the punishment so that Era doesn't have to out her, her whatever secret she may or may not have. Your understanding is greater. The trial is complete. Yeah, and with that, yeah. he and the desk sink again. The light fades, but the purple circle remind him, remains. The Inquisitor falls asleep. Oh, he's all tuckered out. Oh, I forgot to... I, how rude of me. He's a little... Little... <laughs> Little guy there. And then, uh, can you move your figure so that I can draw little Z's? Thank you. He's sleeping. <laughs> Thank you for humoring me, by the way. Also, check it. <laughs> so, for the people, for the people, I just had it flash into my head that it's how for Sylvia hide the body. We can just kill someone and then, like, oh. Draw some Z's on the ground next to their head. He's asleep. Okay. <laughs> oh, so I'm like, I'm like the um, the little sisters from Bioshock. He's sleep. Angel's sleeping, Mister Bubbles. <laughs> so for everybody at home, I drew uh, just a rectangle and then a stick figure, and then there's Z's next to the stick figure because I'm incredible. I'm the best artist of this group. Clearly. Here, here. Hey, wait. I gotta hang on. Yeah, turn off your, your background. Yeah. 20 minutes later. Okay, here, Patreon exclusive. All right. Where is it? Oh, it's in the way. You're in the, it's in the way. Boom. 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 Art. Not clear, but whatever. <laughs> My art yeah, is top. Like I'm the best artist in this group. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. I don't think his name is actually Rufus, but that's fine. <laughs> his name is now Rufus. <laughs> I'll say your comment. He has two arms, doesn't he? Like maybe the statue just lost an arm rather than that being an accurate like like this. <laughs> well, well, no. There's the the established question that I you weren't here for that, but I asked him. I was like, did you have two arms, or were you crafted with only one arm? And it's like you kept ignoring me. I was like, "You have two arms. You just are embarrassed by the fact that you don't got you missing an arm." So then I'm like, "We need to get him an arm." <coughs> there you go, guys. Now you don't have to tell anybody your secrets. You're welcome. Your secrets are safe with you, Era. I think. I don't know. It keeps me what of course and whatever. What can we do? The last light is gone from the door in front of Kalein. You better not. I'm <laughs> That's waiting right. for a gesture. I was like, I'm wait, I'm like gonna do it i'm gonna oh door opener slash trap finder <laughs> uh keep inspector thank you i'm gonna do this i'm gonna open the door um, you this open is the background the music to a what appears to be an office I mean, there are there are absolutely uh, still bookshelves in here, and there's a behind the desk is 
or technically leaned over the desk is a body slump there with a set of key with a with a set of what looks like the other coins for the ward token. Uh, hello? Person, is that the person? Is that what that's supposed to be? Or no? Um, I, I assume it's just because like the said. only human. That, that's, yeah, we're, we're going to deal with that. We're, we're going to use that as the person? We're going to use that as the person Got who it. is not, it's not a fresh body that's what? slumped over there. Does it look like anybody? It looks like an elf. Does it look like any corpse of an elf? <laughs> does it look like any of the ghosts that um, I, I'm friends with? It looks potentially the body looks like potentially it could be related to the person who wanted to open the library. Oh, it's her it dad. has very fancy robes. It's her dad. Okay, I am going to. Because I have to, but I would do it anyway. Because uh, my barbarian instinct is the spirit one, so I can't be mm. disrespectful to corpses. But I would do that anyway. Or for Sylvia, wouldn't do that anyway. Mm. I am going to gently, like, like I'm not even going to take the like the the coins off of its hands or whatever. I'm just gonna like They're kind of scattered on the desk. Oh, okay. So. I'm gonna... With a little bit of there's a little there actually is a little bit of stained blood on them like that's how he activated it. Oh okay. Is it like a is there a bag or is it just is it just free? They're they're free on the. Desk. Oh okay. Um, Are you saying these coins activated the wards that we yeah. just puzzled through? Mm -hmm. Okay. I am going to. Is he wearing? He's wearing like a robe. Mm -hmm. uh, with pockets. Yes. Okay. I'm going to take the coins, put them in his pockets, mm -hmm. and then like fold him in such a way, and then I'm going to pick him up and carry him back to um, what's her name? Mm -hmm. And there is absolutely who, if somebody taller <laughs> would notice oh, yeah. a, a note. To her on the desk. Valid. <laughs> I'm not even mad. That's that is valid. I'll, I'll pick it up. The and... coins are, you know, actual thick coins that you could kind of see, but uh, just a piece of paper on the. Right. right yeah. No, I'm not like. I'm not like. How dare you? Well. I'm like. No, that's that's fair. That's valid. Mm -hmm. I will pick it up and give it a quick perusal. If it looks like it's it is absolutely a I love you daughter um when he realizes he's probably going to die here okay I won't actually read read it then I will it, it, I assumed you scanned it yeah. yeah I will fold that up and bring it with me it's dear mm -hmm. such and such because I I have a valid reason for not but, remembering anybody's but, names but it it reads like one of those like really flourishy romantic civil war letters <laughs> dearest Sylvia my oh dearest, no wait that's me it's like, my dearest Agatha <laughs> that's, God, yeah. that's the weirdest accent for it God, that'd be so amazing if that's how elves sounded <laughs> they do in Danaka some of them the ones from, from you just, north of to be fair you're also way better with the accents than I am <laughs> yeah, when I could keep the fuckers on track. But... <laughs> You're still consistent to the continent they came from, at least. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes even the island. <laughs> right. I, I mean, we live in Maine, so there's French Canadians, so like you know, finagling some you know French different. Canada is the best Canada. Then, <laughs> you know, Canada. delving into Creole on occasion like that. All right, that's fair. But yeah, so I'll I'll pick up the body. And like fold its arms, make sure its eyes are closed, and then I'll, I will carry it mm -hmm. out. I mean, I don't know if there's any like out in character. I don't know if there's anything else in here, but we, I think we just had to find him. I think that was the 
what we had to do. Well, like our whole goal was like clearing out the library, so it could be a maybe safe haven. <laughs> right. Because there's war a brewing. Yeah. And there's there's books on all sorts of things in there, but probably the most highest level magic books were in that room. Oh man, if only we had a real caster like a wizard. <laughs> I'm not a magic user, so <laughs> I'm sure the bard absolutely does not care that you think she is not a real caster. Oh, that wasn't for Sylvia. <laughs> That was Calvin throwing shade at bards. <laughs> well, in in this edition, they're not real casters. They're they're more they're you know, traveling storyteller musicians. It's just fifth edition bards that people play wrong because by description they're just wizards that travel around. So you have opened both sides of the library. And you will when session is over. Yeah. Level up. Solving problems. That's me. I pull oh, start and good. solve them. Yo, if there's a problem, I'll solve it. I could take the DJ and hook and revolve it or something. Who's going to be the last one out of the side of? this wing of the library. Probably. If you glance back, the, the um, <laughs> wood <laughs> weird dis is no longer at the base of the tree. Oh, it already got absorbed. It fades from existence. Oh, that's rude. <clears throat> now I'm going to have to poop on this tree. <sighs> I like fertilizer. Oh, wait, I don't even know if I poop. Oh. <laughs> it's like, because you crap out cotton rag or batting or something. Well, no, my, but when I cry, it's beads. <laughs> and I don't really bleed, it's just fluff. So it's really just hard to tell. It's buttons, I poop out buttons that then also disappear. I don't really need to eat. It's It's weird magic, I don't know. Weird magic. That's, that's why I keep having to repair my shirt. I, I used one of your poop buttons and then it vanishes and I keep just thinking I lost a button. <laughs> <laughs> that got weird really fast. It's weird because the button's gone, but the stitching thread's still there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more impressed by how quickly you can fucking sew. <laughs> also, since when did you start wearing pants? <laughs> I still got the like one leg and then wrapping the other side around like a sash thing going. I don't think I'm doing it right. Does this look right? I don't know. I don't wear pants. <laughs> how I know, would, it's looking a little. How would I? I mean, how would I? Look, that's true. <laughs> how would I even wear pants? Right, that's true. <laughs> Which sets of legs would they even go on? <laughs> right. <laughs> or do I? Or then I'm just like, uh, like what's his name? The horse from Keenan's game, where I just got the like. The, like thousands of gold piece three piece suit. I'm just fancy as hell. It's just put you in one of those like mechanics jumpers, <laughs> so you can put all four feet through it and then just have the, that's, the neck that's, hole around your torso. <laughs> that's true. And then just like an ex like and then sew onto there like a shirt or no then I just wear a shirt. Yeah, just wear a shirt. Yeah. That's track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I wear a a mask and I run around with a knife. Oh wait, no. They call me Michael. So you go out to the main section of the library with this body. And we look up local to me and Calvin history. Oh, wait, not that main. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm going to try to make, like, a like a sympathetic face. Like, we found him. I don't know. 
She just kind of looks teary eyed and goes, thank you. He, le he left this for you too, love. The, the... She will, she will take it gratefully. <clears throat> She's going to put it into her pocket and she's not going to read it in front of you. Yes. Why? Why would you not want to just cry in front it of you? It doesn't want to have a complete fucking emotional Why? in front of this. Why? That. That's ridiculous. Why? No, that's fair. Uh, he also. She he... will ask for your able bodied help to uh, dig a hole outside. Yeah. I'll just immediately head out. Uh, he has. Uh, Let her point out where she would like it. Yes. <laughs> he had. I'll, I'll tell her that he had coins that he used. I, I assume some kind of magic with. Uh, I put them in his pocket. I don't know if you want the coins, or leave them in the pocket, or like what. I don't know what you want to do with them. I just figured I would tell you about them. Because they might be like magic. Coins. I don't think we need to put those back up. But I, she will go over to this body and we'll take the coins. I will hide them. Okay. <clears throat> and that'll take him outside. Mm -hmm. And then just hold them. She'll, she'll the point out where, where she wants to, and, you know, probably find a shovel and point out where she wants the whole dug. Lift with your back. Uh -huh. She picks the rockiest outcrop of it's like <laughs> no, no, it, it's yeah. gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Lift with your back, uh, you know, drink, drink plenty of water. I'm like directing you, uh -huh. while still, while still <laughs> holding <laughs> the, the body. Well, I'm a laborer. I know how to do. I know how to dig holes and stuff. You can but... just you know, set him aside for a moment. And... No, I got to put him in his grave. I picked him up. I got to put him down. In his grave. That's you're so doing fine. Eventually, you guys. If you're will here get by yourself, deep enough. <laughs> How would you be handling the situation? <laughs> I'd probably put him on my back at that point. Mm -hmm. It's really <laughs> the just some kind of horrific pony ride. Right? <laughs> right, because right, because I'm small size, so it's like heads bouncing <laughs> off the ground while I'm digging these holes. Kadong, kadong, kadong. Le legs dragging from the knees to the ankles right, exactly. every time you're walking around. <laughs> I like, yeah. You are able to place him to rest. Goodbye, Dad Elf. Uh, I hope uh, your journey to the afterlife is not terrible. Or something. Although you're not haunting the place, so you're probably already in the afterlife. So thanks for not haunting the library, dad ghost guy. Dad elf guy. Nailed it. I'm great at these speeches. Oh. Realized I forgot. I'm following that. <laughs> Carry on. She well. takes another pouch and looking between the three of you, Decides that Aramela seems the most responsible and hands the pouch to Ara. Uh, rude. I'm incredibly responsible. Thank you. At least Thank according you. to the Ooh. law. <laughs> For <laughs> That's true. all your work here. I'm totally responsible. No, wait, what was the word they used? Culpable. That's what it was. Culpable. <laughs> <laughs> She, she's like, I haven't been caught. I'm legally fine. <laughs> Is it really breaking the law if you don't get caught? Yes. Shit. <laughs> well. Eh. <laughs> Tara would respond. Be safe. There are things happening that might put you in the interesting You be safe as well, all three of you. I mean, what's the worst thing that happens? I die again? <laughs> that I'll remember less. Uh, good times. Woof, woof, woof. And she will go back into the library. Ramila would head out of the library. 
Like, off the ground. Off the, off the ground, yeah. So in the coin, in, in the pouch is a pouch of like, well, you're about to be level four. So probably a good 18 gold coins Ooh. to start with. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't know what, like... the, what coinage is. The coinage is expensive. Like that Pathfinder, you know, actually values gold uh -huh. instead of treating gold pieces like it's an American fucking dollar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's the what's the gold coinage that I should be giving you? <laughs> oh wait, you're asking us five hundred, easy. <laughs> All I have to do is change that to a four. Supposedly, we should have roughly about 500 gold uh, amongst us. So it's not a bag. She hands you a small chest. <laughs> Ooh, chesty. Sweet. Was that woman Kalindra? Probably. I have library quest Kalindra hold him. Library quest. I hugged ghosts. Yeah. So I'm at an even 50 hit points now. I wrote <laughs> Arter Severin, elf ghost. That's so he absolutely is an elf ghost. And Rufus the Archive Knight, because I get to name shit. <laughs> it's, did, I, I didn't tell you about the, the NPCs that I got to name because my friend Scott didn't come up with names for his game. Oh, hold on, I gotta go get my uh, my notes. Are we, are we still recording, by the way? <laughs> yeah, we're still recording. <laughs> fix it. Yeah. Okay. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we be? I don't think I don't know. If, is the session over? Or are we going to keep going? I mean, we're only at it's only two thirty. Yeah, oh. I keep having it in my head that I need to leave for work at three, but it's four. <laughs> Given that um, we completed the library, you have completed the library. Ba, 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 ba. So it's yeah. Og Boger, Roger, Soger, Salvador. Loger, Toger, Woger, and Zoger. So Salvador is just yeah. fun to do off. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm Calvin. What do you expect? <laughs> Terrible and somehow hilarious. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead, Riz. If you're satisfied, can we go to the glade now? Yeah. <clears throat> and I think with you guys making the decision to go to the glade... I am going to end session right here. What? So everybody got my terrible ogre names. Cool. That's important. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Tim. Yeah, Tim. Well, Salem. Salem's not going to say about a Tim. Wow, how rude, Salem. Typically well, Salem. you know, you just said we have X amount of time left. So I was like, oh, great time for a bathroom break. I'm going to end session. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. So goodbye, everyone. We'll see you goodbye. next time. Uh, Message us, Tim, and we'll yeah. start announcing another yeah. person. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And now you get to listen to the outro song. And that's the outro song. Yeah.